Bless the name of the Lord to all our viewers, listeners in diaspora and in Nigeria all over the world. I bless the name of the Lord for another day, for another week. We thank God for what he has been doing as he has instructed us that we should use the remaining days of December 2022 to give a power of hallelujah, to shout a power of hallelujah. We thank God for this part three of power of hallelujah is an awesome that many dead destinies they are rising many people that their destiny have been buried they are gaining their destiny back we bless the name of the lord for what he have been using doing in the life of the son of the holy spirit crew and the priest and levi singers we thank god and we pray the lord will use them on anointing the grace of the lord will never depart from them in the name of jesus we are in the part four, part four of power of hallelujah. Oh, I must say there are both shit all behind that about. Oh, we're going to sing this song. Can we worship it? We to raise us, we to raise my in a Ha <laughs> shout hallelujah, victory is mine. Ha victory is mine. Victory is mine. Through the power and the blood of Jesus, victory is mine. How we shout hallelujah, we tourist man, we tourist man, hallelujah, we tourist man, hallelujah, we tourist Name of the Lord, bless the name of the Lord. Brethren, we are in the part four of power of hallelujah. Oh, I love today's day. Says the finishing of our faith through Christ Jesus that give us total victory. <laughs> Say to yourself, I have victory in Christ. I have victory in Christ. I gain total victory over every problem of my life. Because I believe in him, I trust in him. I know he has died on the cross of Calvary. Through his blood, I have a total victory in Jesus. Mighty name we confess. Amen. Why do we say is the finisher of our faith through Christ Jesus that gives us total victory? When you shout hallelujah, you are giving yourself assurance that you are a man of total victory. Hey, did I know that? Hebrew 12, 12, Hebrew 12, 2 say, looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him, 
endured the, the cross. Ah, by, by the grace of God, God has instructed the, the Son of the Holy Spirit to teach a deep meaning of the cross. The suffering of the cross is going to be a life transformed. It's going to be a life. Many ministers of God will be you know, will be speaking to us about a, the deep of the cross. That he endured the cross, despising the shame, and he sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Because he died on the cross of Calvary because of you and I. We have a reason to shout hallelujah. Can somebody say, thank you, Jesus, for giving me a victory. Say, thank you, Jesus, for giving me a total victory in you. Say, thank you, Jesus, for dying on the cross of Calvary that gave me an assurance of total victory. Say, hallelujah. Why? You are shouting hallelujah in total victory through Christ Jesus. In Revelation verse 5, make us understand the reason why we should shout in total victory. A man with a shouting is the is the winning side when you shout you no know, people will know that yes this person is you know is the one that take the cup of winning <laughs> say to yourself i am on the winning side and i will win forevermore true christ will strengthen me a man of a winning side is a man of rejoicing how did I know? When Jesus Christ was laid and died, that he let his go, he said it is finished. Even though the priest, all those that laid him, there was rejoicing, hey, he's dead, he's dead. We want to see how he's going to rise up. But when Jesus Christ raised him, his disciples began to rejoice. <laughs> ah, his disciples began to rejoice. He has risen again! He has risen again! He has been the devil in the third day! Ah! Thank you, Jesus! They are looking the way he is going to raise him. They did a lot of things for him not to rise in. But the enemy was put to shame. I pray for you. Every enemy of your household that is looking for a way how you are going to rise and your destiny is going to be speak out. Any enemy that is saying you want to look how you are going to fulfill the, your destiny. Any enemy that is saying they want to look how you are meant to make it in life. I pray that we gather and rejoice with you in the name of Jesus. You know, the, 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 the funnest part of this is something that is, I love so much. In that in that Revelation 5, I read from verse 1 to the 14. I want you to go with us. It's a very deep scriptures. The word of God says in Revelation 5, chapter 1 to 14, verse 1 to 14, chapter 5, verse 1 to 14 says, And I saw in the right hand of him that sat on the throne a book written within and on the back side, sealed with the seventh seal. This picture is a very deep thing. We are going to emphasize one of it next year, 2023, by the grace of God, if the Lord Jesus Christ tarried on what we call the deep of the cross. It's a very deep scripture. He has a lot of names. Verse 2 said, And I saw the strong angel proclaiming with a loud voice, who is worthy to open the books and lose the seals thereof? And no man in heaven, not in earth, neither under the earth, was able to open the book, neither to look thereof. And I wept 
Because no man was found worthy to open the book or to read the book, neither to look thereof. And one of the elders said unto me, Weep not. Behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the rose of David, are prepared to open the book and to lose the seven seal thereof. And I beheld and lo, and the midst of the throne of the four beasts, and in the midst of the elders stood a lamb, and it had been slain, having seven horns and the seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of God sent forth into the earth. Verse 7 said, And he came to took the book out of the right hand of him that sat upon the throne, and when he has taken the book, and four beasts and the four and twenty elders fell down before the Lamb, having every one of them apps and golden veins full of odors, which are the prayers of saints. And they sang a new song, saying, Thou art worthy to take the book and to open the seals thereof, for thou wast slain and has redeemed us. To God by His blood, all of every kindred and tongues and people and nations, and has made us unto our God kings and priests, and we shall reign on the earth. And I beheld, and I heard the voice of many angels round about the throne of, and the beasts, and the elders, and the numbers of them was ten thousand times ten thousand, and thousands of thousands. Saying with a loud voice, Thou art, thou is worthy, that was laid to receive power, riches, wisdom, strength, and honor, and glory, and blessing. And every creature which is in the heaven and on the earth, and under the earth, and such as are in the sea, and all that in them, had I say, bless, and honor, and glory and power be unto him that sitteth upon the throne and unto the Lamb forever and ever. Woo! I love this last verse. And the four beasts said, Amen. And four elders, uh, for, for the two, for, and the twenty-four elders fell down and worshipped him. That is why I love this song that, I, that God of helped the priest and ever God, the son of the Holy Spirit, who said, Hello, for the poor shatai shatai Oh, we bow and worship Yahweh. We bow and worship Yahweh. 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 I love to worship at your feet. We love to learn so much about you, sweet Jesus. I love to praise your name. I love to worship at your feet. I love to tell so much about you, sweet Jesus. How 
of darkness. I thank God of my father, the king of kings, for this privilege is that given to me to share his word of power of hallelujah part four to all my listeners in Nigeria and diaspora. We bless and we look forward to hear your testimony. I pray you have a total victory in everything you do in the name of Jesus. You are blessed. Shalom.